Hello everybody, I'm here to do a quick flip through of this latest file folder folio. Ha <laughs> ha got that out. Um, this one is travel themed. Um, it is a regular manila file folder that I have covered in Tim Holtz fabric. It has a traveler's notebook style journal in it. Um, and it has an elastic closure. The charm on the elastic closure says, Not All Those Who Wander Are Lost by J.R.R. Tolkien. And it has a, a book plate that is um, attached to this ticking cloth that's also been glued to a piece of file folder. So it's stiff and then that has all been glued down to the cover. <coughs> Excuse me. So that pops off and it opens this way. Let's see, make that, that down in the right place. Okay. And these two panels here are tucks. This is Tim Holtz cardstock uh, scrapbook paper that I've Mod Podge. So it's got a smooth feel to it and it's, um, it's going to stand the test of time. And then on this side, there are two tags each with quotes on them and some faux vintage tape on them as well. And they both have writing space on the back. So those go there. And then on this side is a similar mirrored thing with two tags, each with travel quotes on them as well. So the maps on this and the other one that's like this are real vintage um, atlas maps, and then I've also used some scrapbooking paper. So then these both open up. This side opens up this way to reveal a glassine pocket with um, the, each of these panels has a real vintage atlas map on it. This one is of the west coast of the United States or of North America. And, um, it's been Mod Podged as well, so that it's going to stand the test of time. And it has an atlas tag with a travel quote, and this is a real vintage ticket and writing space on the back. And this is Tim Holtz fabric that is an off cut actually from the cover. Okay, so then this next panel opens this way and this way, and these are both glassine envelopes with just some extra little ephemera. Some of it is real vintage stuff and some of it is just is faux, but th that keeps it nice and safe. I had to cut the envelopes down to fit. Um, so they have some washi tape on the edge. So then this side opens up and on this side, this is the, the traveler's notebook journal that is just held in with elastic. It has been sewn using a three hole pamphlet stitch and the strings have a little key and lock charm because they reminded me of the um, the locks that you put on the seam steamer trunks. And so this is cardstock paper for the cover. There's a pocket in the front and back and this tag is a pocket tag. This is um, vintage style wallpaper. It's actually a Tim Holtz product um, and they have I've used them using a, a Sizzix die cut, or I've cut them using a Sizzix die cut, and um, decorated them up, and they can both be written on. So that one tucks in there. This is from a real vintage atlas. This is real vintage um, ledger paper there, and then some tea dyed cardstock and ledgers and papers um, throughout, and grid paper. So this is minimally, or, or other than the tags, it's not embellished. This is cardstock, um, so that you have mostly writing space to keep all of your your journal entries. And then in the back pocket is another one of those same style tags, but with different colors. And again, they can be written on. Oops, that got squished. There we go. And that's real ticking cloth. And then here is an expandable envelope. And what I had been doing was gluing these down, but I love this paper so much and I loved this map that I made this a uh, flip out. And it's the hinge is with very thick ticking. It's a very, here's the roll that it came from. 
this is it's a very it's like a canvas very sturdy canvas material um, and then I have I sewed some little real vintage buttons that one actually has like a little um, anchor on it and then this is a little another little vintage button so these have both been sewn to the fabric before the fabric was glued to the cover of this envelope and it has a string windy closure with a compass charm and that opens to be a gusseted expandable envelope and there is a little surprise in there but i'm not going to reveal what that surprise is other than to say that it's some uh, truly real vintage ephemera and that winds up like that and then in this last panel is another real atlas map this is a glassine tuck with a window tag that uses real vintage atlas and also has a quote on it so i like this panel because it has um the the tuck part is the glassine and, and see-through and the tag also has a glassine window and is see-through so you get to see all the elements of all the maps. And then this is some washi just to give that glassine a little extra security as you're taking things in and out. So that, oops, actually, and this does fit. So you can close that up and then this will protect the, the journal. Oh, and I suppose I should show you the, um, the closure. This elastic closure allows you to remove this and it's a double. And then this little lock is what holds the elastic closure in place. So there is actually room for you to put another file folder or um, ephemera folder or another journal or what, whatever you'd like on there. And this has been reinforced with cardboard. So that closes like that. And then this wraps around like that and the the charm does lie nice and flat. Some of these charms hang out a little bit, which you could you could snip those or wind them closer if you wanted um, them not to hang out. And so that is my vintage style travel themed file folder folio. Try saying that time 10 times fast. Okay, hope you are all well and you are having a great day. Thanks for checking me out. Bye.